on the road again, headed back down to Ohio, Shawnee State Forest. Um, we were here to April. Yeah, April. Put some cameras out, and uh, about two weeks after we were down there, Dad's Tacticam went offline. Four weeks later. Yeah, like four weeks to a month later, it came back online, but uh, it is no longer overlooking the same trail, so it's moved. But uh, we pinged the GPS, and it's still in the same general area, so I don't know if it just got spun on the tree or what, but someone definitely was messing with it that it went offline and then came back online. But uh, anyways, we're heading back down. This was the first weekend with everything going on, birthday parties and fishing, and that we can get down here. We brought some uh, other cameras with us and some stuff to put up some ropes, get some box scrapes started. But uh, no, it's warm, it's 92 degrees out. And we are trying a little different route this time to uh, avoid Chicago because no matter what we do it seems like it's stand stand still bumper to bumper traffic no matter what time of day we go through there oh, the road construction is just terrible so even Milwaukee was a bad it took us over an hour, hour just to get through Milwaukee because it was stop and go stop and go but we're trying a little different route so it adds a little more time to it but we're at country scenery to look at instead of uh, city so I'll take that I'll take that anytime but we got me dad my like mom back there so yeah we'll head down get set up in the lodge tonight uh, get up hopefully get some breakfast in us and uh, head out into the woods hopefully we'll see. we don't have any bad storms like last time They'll be, they're calling for storms tomorrow, but we'll see. I guess I'd rather walk in the woods in the rain than uh, almost 100 degree temperatures they're forecasting. So uh, Last time was the tornado went through and uh, the yeah. oh, thunderstorms. It was just nasty. So, uh, yeah, but we will see you down there. We'll uh, keep you informed all along the way and see what happens. Twelve hours later, we have Man. arrived. Man. Made it to the lodge here at uh, Shawnee State Forest in Ohio. It's uh, 1.14 in the morning. So, yeah. We'll uh, go in, find our room. Mix up a whiskey sour or relax a little bit after a long drive and uh, hit the hay and get up early tomorrow and go check cameras. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Morning. We are at our destination where we want to start hiking up in our ropes to get up the mountain. A little groggy this morning after only a couple hours of sleep. Nice, so it's only 65 degrees. Take two, you think, you know? Two will be enough. I think they were only brought two. They were wrapped together, it was so quick. Yeah, so we're gonna head in, try to beat the storm. There's a storm coming in around noon, so try to get in <coughs> before we get rained on. Well, plus, we have to check out the hotel at 11. Yes. We would like to take a shower. Yeah, ideally, so. And we brought this along this time after our bad experience last time. Like the long yeah, star nice star tick. <clears throat> That's not fun. So, yeah, yeah we'll uh, spray it up good and got the rest of our stuff loaded up. And we'll start heading in. So, we'll 
see you on the mountain. That washed that out really bad. Watch the rocks man. Well, it's a little bit different than the last time we were here considering the water was probably at our chest height. This year you couldn't see the None of this was here. <coughs> no, none of this was here. Yeah. That's why we couldn't uh, we couldn't come in this way this spring. We had to go around on the back side. But uh <coughs> Yeah, water's way down. See some fish. You need this? If we need more, if you think we need more up there, then we can tie it on and keep going. I can get me to tie it on the right end? Kind of the plateau where it's shelves here a little bit and then it starts going back up again. So we tied our rope off so mom can make her up easier. <clears throat> she is steep. I remember saying that would be the tree, a good tree for Mitch to sit in right there. <clears throat> it's right here. Set. Little better, still good. 
still taking pictures then. Oh. That is deer. That's a big body deer, huh? Yep. So I'll get the card pulled out. We'll upload it to the computer. So I'll figure out how to do that on this laptop. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's about a six foot spider web here. You see that, Nick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just take a look. Oh, the smoke. So it's from way up here by these, tr by these leaves? All the way down to that tree. I feel steadily wrapped up in them. So, alright. We're going to try to get this camera card cleared, put back in and turned on. There's, from at least from what we're looking at there, there's a lot of deer going through here. So, of course, we'll put Mitchell in the best spot. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we can get it cleared, we'll get it set back up and head on to the next. Try to get out of this sweaty mess faster than we can. Well, oh, so I put a ladder stand in here. That's cool. Yeah. That wasn't there. This is on Kay's land, right? Yep. Neat. Well, we just got up to the second camera that we had placed here solely because someone placed a mineral lick on property that were supposedly the only ones that had permission to be on. And uh, we just found a ladder stand here that wasn't here this spring. So, yeah, we'll be calling the landowner because supposedly, like I said, we're the only ones that had permission to hunt in here. We're in the middle of the private. So, yeah neat and that stand is literally set up 200 yards from where Mitch is going to be hunting and less than 200 from mom and dad less than 200 from where mom's going to be so yeah cool I have to find out what's going on there on a different note it's fucking hot as hell this humidity is something else she is I've never dealt with anything like this. Humidity is high. On a brighter note, there's no mosquitoes. That must just be a Wisconsin thing. Yeah, I was thinking that too. But, uh... No. So, we'll get this card put on the computer. Move and move on to the next. I don't know. Every time I come here, I keep telling myself more and more, why do we do this? Especially now when we're dealing with this crap again. Okay. Well, what do you have to say? I'm glad it's here. <laughs> we had a lot, of, a lot of time invested here. Can't figure out how it got turned or why it went offline. It to be here and it was pointed over there. This would help. That was unplugged too? Yeah. I'm gonna guess. I don't know, you'd have to, someone would have to bring a ladder in to do this. Yeah, or they took a branch and... Whacked it? Yeah. Well, someone's been in here then because they cleared that camera too. Yeah. So... Neat. 
so I'll let him know that they were screwing with our equipment. The joys of hunting 12 hours away from home. You can't control what people do. Alright, we are through the private and we're on to the public where I shot my buck last year. And uh, our last camera that was on the private was also cleared out and emptied. Pictures of us coming up to it and that was it. So somebody had cleared those pictures up because there was a good deer trail in front of it. So we just got back in here and we got a camera about 100 yards ahead of us. Hopefully it's still there and working. And then go over the next ridge and that's where Mike's setup is. So we got to check that out. Yeah. We have to uh, the trail to come on. Fucking nasty bugs and people sucking. So we're back in and think we'd be alone, but it seems like you never get away from people. Nope. It's hot. We're like, oh, let's get up early and beat the heat. <laughs> yeah. Not so much the heat, last time we did You know, when you go to reach for a glass of water on the nightstand, you slide right out of bed. I feel right now. It's like a slip and slide. Oh, I see a strap right there, Nick. Straight ahead. Seventy-three, so I'm thinking that. Holy coons, huh? <laughs> that's a wicked looking coyote, but that's a coyote. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on there. It looks like a red dog. A nice box. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, well, my camera's here. So that's a good sign, because I am up this ridge. There's a pine plantation, and then it starts to dip back down, and that's where I'm at. So, hopefully my camera's still there. Then we got another one way on the other side. I don't have to walk along ways. Oh, we got another one now. Once we get up to the pine plantation, we take that trail that parallels that, right? Yep. And go down. So, huh. Uh -huh. well, that'll be at least something exciting to look at in a truck. Yeah? Sir. Oh, well, alrighty. Well, uh, catch you by my stand. If my camera's still there and unaffected, I brought the stuff along to set up a, uh, what do they call that, a hemp rope? Yeah. Something like that over a... Uh, set up a mock scrape with an all season scent so because the next time tentatively next time we'll be here will be hunting time so yeah we'll uh, catch you over there all right well we just uh, uploaded the card to the computer and uh, yeah there's a nice one. That's what we came down here to look for. Now, if we can get away from those people. Yeah, now if we can figure out why we got people coming in and messing with our stuff. Because literally, that buck was standing right here. Looks like he's taking this trail right up, and Nick's stand is about 100 yards that way. That's the same trail I saw that buck on last year. Oh, don't forget there to change of time, bud. Yeah, it is 8:45, and uh, there was more than one good one. So uh, we will 
Well, I shouldn't say we will. I will try to insert those pictures into this video. If we can. I don't know. We're trying to figure out Mama Dab's... What is it? A Chromebook? Yeah, some kind of Chromebook or something. I'm not very technologically advanced it's, it is. It's a pain in the ass. So, uh... Alright, yeah. on to the next one. Another one's set, and let's head her on over to my spot. There's this tree here. Yeah. Looks different. Well, it's still there. That's a good sign. The only problem with that is we're not going to be able to look at pictures till you put it on the computer. Yeah. Not a big deal, is it? No. Well, all right. Oh, no. My damn backpack broke. does not look nearly as impressive now as it did this spring. No, but you can still see it. Yeah, I mean, they're coming through. It's a lot of photos. Let's get a shed that book. Out. I don't know, I messed with it. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's a good sign. So, Alright, we'll get this one set back up and uh, figure out what we want to do for uh, my camera with the rope scrape I want to set up. So, we'll see you then. What is that? Code blue rope dope, huh? Yeah, rack rub, licking branch gel. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I brought some uh, all season scrape. Nice. Things. So, I don't know, it's probably as good a spot as any, huh? Yeah. Try her out. First time I seen this particular setup, and it was the only one left on the shelf. So yeah, give it a try. You said, well, you guys out there in YouTube world swear by these ropes. You see a lot of people using them. I've never seen this before. Not this brand or setup. And I've had luck in the past with Code Blue products. Yep. You'll probably put it on that tree right there, big enough, face it this way. There we go, we'll get her all set. Pretty back says it's there, the pretty back. Tacticam says it's got two bars of service. So I'm thinking that's similar to what we had with Mitch's and... We're gonna give it a whirl, right? It just sucks that it's 12 hours coming mm -hmm. back down here if it doesn't work, so... If it doesn't work, I'm paying for a camera that doesn't work until... Or you just deactivate it. You know, if it doesn't get service, it should still take pictures though, right? Right. Alright, grab your shit up, let's go on to the next camera.
Alright, we're gonna work our way towards the last camera that we have to check. And nature called from Winky Boy, so he's back there taking care of business. So I just ran ahead to check this camera. And uh, there I see it. Check this camera out and get uh, get out of here. Start heading our way back. We'll see. There's the camera. Let's see how she looks. Unless I've got some photos, but I might pull this setup down. We're not hunting anywhere over this way, so I'll probably pull it down. Alright, pulled the camera down. And I'm trying to make my way back to Mike. I had to drop further down in elevation than what I expected. I forgot the camera was down lower. We're way up there. So I'm going to start working my way back up to Mike, hook up with him, then shoot back over towards Mom and Dad, see how they're doing, and get out of here. It's too damn hot. So, alright. All the cameras are in and set. Call me a wicked walking branch for the daughter. Did you like that? Uh, yeah, making our way back. It is 9:26, so it took us roughly two hours to get in here. Hiked uh, two or three miles around, and uh, get everything set. We gotta get out of here and get back to the lodge and try to show her before they kick us out. So, oh, yeah. get the all right. The down. Well, uh, so this trail goes see you back at the lodge. All right, well, we're back in the truck. Got all showered up and uh, heading out. I did have, we did have one tick. I had a Lone Star tick on my waistline, but it should be okay. It shouldn't have been in more than an hour or two, I wouldn't think. So, uh, no. Now we start the long trek back. They're back there looking at trail cam pictures. Yeah. Nothing too exciting so far. Lots of wildlife, but no. Well, you got a coyotes and coons and a bobcat. Bob, and bobcat. There's some does. So, uh, yeah, it's raining. But we managed to get out of the woods before that happened, so it's all right. Wash away our scent. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, yeah, we will... Uh, be posted as we get along here if anything interesting happens or else we will see you back at the house. We made it back into Wisconsin. Finally. That takes forever. Barely. Lots of crazy drivers. A lot of crazy drivers. Mike almost got run over by a minivan. Idiots. But we're back in Wisconsin. Running pretty low on fuel, so we gotta find a gas station to fill up that. Not, not bone in chicken, right, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> you had a bad experience with that. Don't get bone in chicken at Quick Trip. No, there's L and L gas station at home is good. So we're gonna find a place to get gas, grab my tea, and got under two hours, and we'll be home. 
Oh. Oh, my. All right. Well, home again, home again. We so, made her. It's been a long day and a half. Considering we spent less than less than 12 hours in Ohio. Yeah. Quick turn and burn, and we're back. So, I think uh, he's planning on going fishing tomorrow. Yeah. So we hopefully, might go in the morning. hopefully we can get some footage there. Here. We'll That's see mine. how I feel in the morning. All right, we're all pretty tired. So, all right. Well, hopefully you enjoy this uh, little Ohio update, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna spin a seven out here for right now.